Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of the CNOS 2 stage tutorials. In this part we are going to cover on how to import custom mesh into your stage. For this tutorial we are going to add a new mesh to the tournament stage. To get started we need to copy the vanilla files from the stage to the CNOS 2 folder. If you take a look in the stages folder, you notice a gap after 3, so we're adding our new object as 4. The first thing we need to do is add a new object entry for the new mesh. I'm not going into detail here, so if you don't know how to do that, make sure to check out part 1. Once you are done adding the new object entry, you need to convert it back to a map file and drop it into the CNOS2 folder. In the next step, we are getting the model of the tournament stage so we know where to place the new mesh on the stage. The main model is in the 01 NSK. Just drag and drop it onto NSK pack to get the EMD and the ESK. Those two files can now be converted to a FBX with the EMD FBX. So just import that FBX into your 3D editor. You will get the models all clustered in the center. We're just going to search for the ring and delete everything else. You can delete those old files as we don't need them anymore. We just needed them to get the reference model. Next we need to convert the template NSK to a FBX. Just do it the same way as we just did with the tournament model. Import the new FBX on the same scene as your reference model. Once you imported that one, we can now import the mesh you want to have on your stage. I'll just use a simple barrel model for now. As you can see it's pretty huge and we need to scale it down. Before you do that make sure your model's position is at zero. When you move, rotate or scale your model in any way you need to do that in the vertex mode. That's important or else your model will be misplaced in game. Now we're just going to place the model where we want it to be on the stage. If your model is placed properly, you can delete the reference mesh. Next, you need to put your models in the same node that says put model only in this node. You can delete that dummy afterwards. To make texture management easier, as stages can have a lot of textures and objects, we're going to rename the mesh. Just start with 000, next one will be 001, and so on. Now we can add textures to our mesh. What's left now is to rename the materials. Just give them the same name as the mesh. Once you edited all the names of the meshes and materials, you can export your scene as FBX and convert it back to EMD with FBX EMD. Before you can convert it back to a NSK, we need to assign the correct textures in the EMD. Convert the EMD to an XML and open it up in Notepad. All you need to do here is inside each submesh find the texture definitions and change the texture index to the number of your mesh. 
So for 001, change both to 1. Just to make sure, 000 should have a texture index of 0. Save it and convert the XML back to EMD. Now we can convert the EMD and ESK back to a NSK. Name it just like we did in our object entry. In our case, bften04 and drop it into your stage folder. What's left is the EMB, which are the textures, and the EMM, which are the materials. I'm just going to copy those from 00 and rename them accordingly. Let's start with the materials. Convert the EMM to XML and open it up in Notepad. Delete all the existing materials so we get a clean file. From those EMMs choose the material you want to have. I just want a simple texture so I choose the diffuse material. Copy it and paste one for each mesh you've got. Make sure you give them the same names as your mesh and textures have. Save it and convert it back to EMM. Next we're going to work on the textures. Convert your EMB and just delete every texture in here. Right now our textures are PNGs but we need them to be DDS with an alpha layer. So open them up in Photoshop. The alpha layer is the specular map. What I usually do is just copy the texture in the alpha layer and see how it turns out in game. The result always depends on the stage's lightning and might need further adjustments. But in most cases just copying it on the alpha layer works fine. Save it with the same name as your mesh again. Just drop them in the BFTN04 folder and convert it to EMB. Now that we are finished with the NSK, EMM and the EMB, we can test our stage in game. And as you can see, we got our new object on the stage. It obviously won't have any collision right now, but we're going to cover that in the next part. Also, you might have noticed that the model is not placed on the ground properly. The reason for that is that in the map file, each object has a transformation matrix. The matrix for your new object is 0, 0, 0. And for the ring, it's moved down on the y-axis. To fix this, we've got two options. The first one is not recommended if you're planning on giving that object collision, as you will have a hard time adjusting the collision correctly to your mesh. You can just search the ring object and copy its transform matrix to your new object. It should be about negative 1.5, so I'm just going to put that in our new object's transform matrix to show how it will be moved down in game. And now it should be somewhat on the ground. So again, if you're planning on adding collision to that object, keep your transform matrix at zero. The other and recommended way to move it to the ground is just moving the model down in your 3D editor and redo the process to convert it to an SK until it's on the ground. So now you know how to get new models onto your stages and in the next part I'll show you how to give those models collision so that prevents you from going through the models or that you're able to walk on them.
Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.